Yes, yes, YouTube. Jordan here. Out recording for the second instalment of this monthly series. This morning, going up Scarfell Pike. It's just behind me. You probably can't see it though. It's a bit too dark. Hopefully going to get a bit of a sunrise when I'm up there. It's about 6.30 now. I'm not sure how long it's going to take me. I'll check in with you guys when I've got a bit more light. Starting to get a bit lighter now. Don't need the head torch. I'm heading up the west side from Wasdale Head. I think this is the most direct route. I only looked, only looked yesterday. Any plan to come last night? Just with potential bit of free time. So last minute again. Quite underprepared. However, good weather and all that clear skies. Relatively clear skies, should I say? Not a long walk, I don't think. Let's see how we get on. Starting to lose sight of the reservoir behind. Just past a young couple about 10 minutes ago and they reckon an hour to the top. So it's taken me about half an hour, 40 minutes so far. So we'll see if we get up there for half six, eight-ish. Maybe half eight. FYI, anyone who's going to do this route, you get to a little fork, don't turn right, take the left hand side. It should take me about 10 minutes to cross all of that stuff there. Still, no one around, quiet, amazing experience. Only way you sort of manage experiences like this is getting out so early and just getting on with it, set off while it's dark or alternatively do some wild camping I'm blowing I think I'm a quick water break and kick on I could almost see the summit literally two minutes ago but now, literally some clouds just blowing in. Don't think I'm too far away now, but I had a change of clothes because it's getting a bit breezy now. Definitely a lot cooler. I just didn't want to get too cold. Hopefully, it's going to clear up as I get to the top. We shall see. <laughs> was difficult. I personally put that on par with Ben Nevis, Snowden. It's definitely a lot easier. I don't know whether it's because I've done these solo. But yeah, the sun there uh, coming through. We didn't get the sunrise because of the cloud. But still, nobody here at all. Shop down now out of the clouds on the flatter stuff you can see them blowing over behind me keep coming across momentarily I did stop a couple of times to try and get the drone out to get a few shots so if the intro to this video had some drone shots they were good if not they were garbage and my hands were cold for nothing getting a bit hungry now get back down to the car put the GoPro away and that's it nearly back down at the car now this is the bridge I walked over this morning. I could hear the river, but I couldn't see it. Beauty. If anyone has any ideas of good walks around the Lake District, let me know, please, for future videos, because I love it here. So peaceful, although I imagine it's not when it's a bit later on in the day. So yeah, let me know in the comments down below where I could visit next. Completed it. The second instalment in this series of Scaffold Pike. 
lovely it was nobody up there again the whole mountain to myself when i was on the top i mean you can't experience that all the time can you so i'm quite happy with that back down in the car now been here about 45 minutes actually got a flat and it's down to the rim so it's undrivable need to get recovery truck zero signal here as well which was tops it all off doesn't it i've had to walk down to the hotel get them use their landline to ring the recovery team got to meet them there then walk back down to the car because there's no postcode for where i'm parked so it's gonna be here for a little bit now ah, as you can see outside lovely weather what i'm gonna do i am gonna well get out i won't say sunbathe but just enjoy some of this weather while it lasts i mean definitely should be in winter now so very lucky to have this weather yes yes youtube i'm back three hours later still in the lake district now on the back of recovery wagon on my way to quick fit to hopefully get a tire um that's another story in itself that they're, they're not sure if they've got tires apparently um but we'll see. I'm definitely ready for bed now. But that's going to be it now for me. End of the video. Hopefully get to quick fit, quick tyre change and get home.